Any English-speaking traveler in Japan has run across it at one time or another. Mangled phrases and word pairings that take on an unintentionally humorous meaning in our own language. English, as it is known in politically incorrect circles, is a magical state of mind where water can rapidly moisten your body, smorking is forbidden, and pork is, well, quirky. But nowhere is English more prevalent or well-loved than in the hallowed halls of video games. Brush up on your history of butchered English, look no further than Zany's Video Game Quotes website. It is perhaps the most complete list of bad game translations on the planet, covering the 8-bit days all the way up to the modern era. Only in a classic video game would a penguin fry over a jungle, or you would be asked to select the difficulties of the action play. And only in a game like Last Alert on the Turbo Graphics would you get to hear award-winning dialogue like this. People will hate you, Steve, if you're too stingy. He probably meant to say stingy. But this just proves that even though games have gotten more sophisticated with full motion video and voice dubbing instead of text, translation faux pas are still the rule, not the exception. And we can give you no finer an example of this than Capcom's horror classic Resident Evil. A quality game in its own right, Resident Evil is marred throughout by a poor translation dubbed by some of the worst voice actors on the planet. Stop it! Don't open that door! One character in particular, Barry Burton. That's right, Barry Burton is worth singling out because of lines like this. Jill, here's a lockpick. It might be handy if you, the master of unlocking, take it with you. And this. That was too close. You were almost a jiggle sandwich. <laughs> You're right. But while Resident Evil could pass all this off as an homage to cheesy B-movies, a dramatic adventure like Shenmue has no excuse. I heard about it from Nozomi. It must be hard for you. And what's with all the freaky children? Hi, mister. You want to wrestle? To be fair, the person who voiced the lead character, Ryo Hazuki, did a pretty good job. But certain situations in the game don't come off sounding quite right. Do any sailors ever come in here? Sometimes. But our jackets are too cool for that scum. I want guys like you to wear them. Do you know anywhere sailors go to hang out? Do you know of any places where sailors hang out? About those sailors? Do you ever see sailors around here? I'm looking for some sailors. Most of them are pretty big, so... You can miss them. I don't have time to play your little games. Do you know of any shops where sailors might go? Sailors? I'm looking for sailors. Which bar do they hang out at? Do any sailors come to drink here? Do you know of any place where sailors like to hang? You say sailors, but you don't mean just any sailor, do you? Um, I'm looking for a place where sailors hang out. Do they come here? Are those people sailors? Are you guys sailors? Are those guys sailors? The deal was I make this shot and you tell me what I want to know. Are you guys sailors? While Yu Suzuki probably meant for Shenmue to have subtext, I'm not sure this is what he had in mind. Now, no talk of English would be complete without mentioning Zero Wing, an unremarkable shooter on the Genesis that turned seven little words into a global phenomenon. All your base are belong to us. The all your base craze has pretty much burned itself out. But for now, let us bask in the warm glow of bad translations. All your base, your base, base. All your days are belong to us. All your days.